Welcome back if you went anywhere for that 15 minutes. <laughs> Otherwise, hi again. <laughs> uh, our next speaker is an engineer at Panic. He is a creator and maintainer of AF Networking, Postgres.app, Helios, Nomad, and a million other awesome open source libraries that we all use constantly. Uh, he writes about obscure and overlooked parts of Coco on NS Hipster, Hipster Matt Thompson. Hey, everybody. This is, uh, I was told that I can't do any parkour off the ramp, which uh, means I have to cut out a lot of my talk, unfortunately. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to break script a little bit. There are no slides. Uh, there's no formal presentation. You see, I was going to talk about uh, how to find obscure APIs in uh, all the new API diffs, right? Any other year, that would have been a viable talk. Because uh, there would have been, you know, maybe a couple nuggets. You could have gotten a couple laughs, a couple uh, new things to discover. But it's sort of been a deluge. Uh, besides, uh, the TLDR of that, by the way, look for constants. Look at the, the new constants that are defined and check out all the deprecations. That's the secret to finding good stuff in the API diffs. So there you go. It just saved you about 30 minutes, right? In this time, no, I, I want to talk about something different because, uh, and besides, I guess the billing, it's just my name on the, on the speaker thing. I don't think there was a title for my talk, so it gives me a lot of leverage here. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is uh, about being a beginner. So uh, this is my fourth WWDC. I can't speak uh, with any generality in any broad context uh, with authority, but as I understand it, this year uh, has been really remarkable. One thing that I love about WWDC is that feeling that you get coming out of Moscone after the keynote. You know, everything is different. You come out, and I don't know if that's the reality distortion field, I don't know if that's jet lag, but what it is, is this feeling that the world has fundamentally changed. Whether that's a new hardware, piece of hardware that was introduced. I think my first WWDC, there was the introduction of the iPhone 4, and the thing that really struck me was FaceTime. There's that, there's that one moment in that promo video where you have people doing sign language over that. that I mean, that just gets me every time. But just the idea, like these technologies that really change uh, the fundamental structure of society in a way that you know, is teased out over time. That feeling that you get, uh, it diminishes over the week, generally speaking. This year is different, though. I think, I, I can speak for a lot of us at least, this feeling of excitement, this feeling of possibility uh, still hasn't left us. You know, any other year, what, we, what was announced at, in iOS 8 and Mac OS 10 Yosemite would have been enough to fill you know, plenty of talks and fill up our excitement and power us through the summer to release great stuff in the fall. But this new language, Swift, I think really is something remarkable that we need to think about uh, and be conscious of. Because for the first time, I think maybe one of the few times we'll have in our career, we're all beginners at the same time. That means that we all get to try this thing out for the first time and be equals for once, which is neat. That actually I'm looking out uh, into a room of people that have had maybe uh, a lot more opportunity to read through. I haven't actually finished the Swift book myself, so there are plenty of you that know much more about Swift than I do. Uh, you know, but it doesn't even compare to what we'll know in a year from now when we're not beginners. So what's good about being a beginner? It means that you aren't afraid of making mistakes. It means that you're free to experiment. And certainly the playground feature in Xcode is really, I don't know if that was like intentionally timed, but that's the perfect feature. The idea that you can play around, explore concepts, and share in a way that allows other people to experiment in the same manner. You know, I can't wait to see readme.playground files you know, clutter our uh, GitHub repos in a couple months. It's going to be really different. It means not being afraid of making mistakes. It means not being afraid to ask for help either. You know, we're all equals here. There's no reason to be ashamed of not knowing something. And really, that wasn't ever the case to begin with. There's no reason to be ashamed of not knowing anything about Objective-C either. So in a way, it's just like the keynote. Nothing really changed when you walked out of Moscone. Nothing changed about the world. It's just your perception of it. Nothing is neither good or bad. It's just thinking that makes it so. But right now, we're all thinking the same thing. And that's important and, and powerful. And we have this opportunity to come together. So again, asking questions, you don't have to worry about that. In the same way, you don't have to worry about, you don't have to be too scared to give answers either. It feels like only a privileged class of people maybe are qualified to provide answers. 
if you're not a beginner, yeah, that, if you're a beginner, you, you don't feel as comfortable maybe providing help. But since everybody is, now everybody can help each other. So it's about experimenting. It's about asking questions, about answering each other's questions, about helping out. Um, and this won't last. Uh, this whole thing, this feeling that we're feeling right now, about being beginners, you know, give it a couple weeks, right? There will be some of us that race ahead and make great things, and others of us that, uh, you know, take, we're all at different paces, you know? It's not a race. I don't want to make it seem like a race, but the reality is that this feeling and this distinction uh, will not last forever. So what I want to do is ask each and every one of you, um, challenge you to live in the moment, at least for this week, the rest of this week, uh, the rest of this month, Really think about what it means to be a beginner. Think about the opportunities that get, that gives you, and think about how this is a rare opportunity. You know, the, the last time this happened maybe was when iOS came out. Because, you know, but it's very rare that you have something so immediate and absolute and with such a large population. So take this opportunity, be a beginner for the first time with everybody else, and put it really just deep in your mind. Set a breakpoint in the collective consciousness that we can all return to and maybe draw upon later whenever it comes time to act empathetically towards one another and share our creations. So that's my challenge. That's all I have to say for you. Uh, go ahead and have a great lunch. Thanks. <laughs>